Okay, great. So I'm new to the series. I really like it. Now I'm going to start watching it. Um, you, to me, it looks like you have a lot of emotion, a lot of complicated storyline that rests on your shoulders as a character. Mm -hmm. um, explain to me how you make it look so effortless because you do. Thank you, I appreciate it. Well, I, um, first of all, the way Patricia Cuffey Jones writes um, is as if I have written it myself. So it doesn't, it's like all on the page. It's just, all I have to do is show up, really. I mean, not to like, you know, downgrade myself and not give myself any credit, but it just makes it so easy when you have such a talented writer and that, and you know, I've worked with her for so long. So she just gets all my nuances and, you know, those things that trigger me. It's just, it's, it's easy. It is. Have you ever stepped into writing yourself? Yeah, as actually, I um, I my writing partner and I, uh, Stephanie Beatty, we actually have a short that um, we sold to All Black, and it can be seen. Yeah, it's a, it's um, it was my my very first uh, thing that we sold together, and yeah, I have. So, <laughs> congratulations. And it's, it's, you know, thank you. It's different being on that side of things. You For know sure. what I mean? It, you know, it's so many different moving parts that you don't think about. You know, especially when you're like a, an indie kind of a person, you not like have a huge budget, you gotta wear a tremendous amount of hats. So we learned a lot. Uh, I will push back into the show for a moment, but can you tell me what your short is about and the name so that people can watch it? Okay, it's called The Counselor. Oh. And it is about a um, a lawyer um, who uh, loses his uh, fiance um, under suspicious kind of circumstances, and he just kinds of you can see him starts to kind of unravel. Um, and so that's kind of like I guess that's the basis of it, basically. And you're the counselor. Do you play? Are you acting your own? Choice? I'm not in it. I actually I wrote it and I directed it. Uh, I wrote it along with my my uh, writing partner Stephanie Bay, and, and directed. You directed yeah. it. How did that feel? And you know what? It was <laughs> different <laughs> because again, it's like um, it, you know, I I knew the material so well because you know I wrote it, which mm -hmm. was great. Um, so I kind of knew going in what I wanted. Um, but I have a lot of respect for directors who kind of come in with a new cast and with like, you know, uh, first time, um, you know, uh, getting to know the, the body of the work and the rhythm of the work and all that kind of stuff just to, cause they were asking me questions about my own material. And I was like, okay, wait a minute. I didn't think about that, you know? <laughs> so I have a, I have a very, very uh, deep respect for that. I don't know if that's something I'm going to do in the future, mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, writing for sure. Writing for sure. Well, at least you tried it and you know that it's not quite for you. Yeah. Right. The writing is. Right. So, so that so that makes sense why you complimented the writing because as an actress, you've read a lot of scripts. Because mm -hmm. you've been in the game since you were very small. Yes, true. So what, what age did you walk in? So I started when I was nine. Oh, wow. But I didn't start working. It took me until I was 18. So when I turned 18, that's when things started to, you know, happen for me. I don't know what happened between, you know, in those nine years, uh -huh. but I'm glad I, whatever happened, picked up. Cause yeah, it took me nine years to get it. I mean, I did do one, um, you remember the show Different Strokes? Back yeah, when they were very cold in. Yeah. I did one episode of that. Like I did an episode of that when I was 14, but yeah, nothing in between those times. So, so 18, like you know, last year. You <laughs> yeah, girl. <laughs> like, last year. Yeah, last year. <laughs> right, right. Thank you yeah. for that. <laughs> You're very welcome. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have. There you go. So. Um, <laughs> I love the fact that All Black has so many interesting choices, like things I would never have known existed. I know. I you know. Yeah, they definitely the have. Is good. Yes, they definitely. 
So when they trans transitioned from um, from UMC to All Black, it just everything was. They were already coming with some good stuff before, but that transition, they they just the shows, the quality of shows. I mean, they even have. I was looking on their roster the other day, and I looked at um, there was a show called Love Is that I did um, a few years back, and okay. and that show was great. And so they're just acquiring all this really great material, you know, mm -hmm. and giving all these folks, black folks, um, you know, a chance to to a platform to show their their work, you know, and they're really open to a lot of different things. So mm -hmm. I'm excited about. Um, I'm excited about the network and I'm so happy that I was in on the ground floor 